hello, how are you? Welcome, it's Miss Kate here. I'm excited to see you guys today. Um, we've been doing the high seas this week um, and we talked about lighthouses and then we became pirates, that was really fun. Um, and today we're gonna talk about submarines and we're gonna travel deep to the bottom of the ocean and see what we might see down there. First, make sure you check below, right down here. Um, it tells you uh, what materials you need today and anything else I might've put down there. You can leave a comment, all that good stuff. All right, here we go. So what is a submarine? Well, here's a picture of one. I'm sure you've probably seen them before. Um, a submarine is a vessel that's able to go below the surface of the water. It's made of steel, typically. This is a really strong material. That way it can go really, really deep. The deeper we go in water, the more that the force of the water pushes against our body. So we need a material that can protect us. Just like if you were to go to outer space, you'd wear a special space suit because you need to be protected. If you go deep, deep into the water, you need a material to protect you as well. The pressure you can actually feel. Here's a cool little experiment. So. I did this earlier. What you're gonna do is if you put your finger in water, it just feels wet, right? You don't really notice anything. So then what I did is I got a plastic bag. I put my hand in that and then stuck that in the water. When you do that, you can actually feel the pressure of the water pushing back on to the plastic bag, which is touching your hand. It's a cool little experiment, and I would recommend doing it in the sink so the water doesn't go everywhere. But if you're up for it, you can then feel what the pressure of the water feels like against your body. So the deeper you go, that force gets even stronger. And that's why submarines are made of steel. Otherwise, we would be crushed. Another neat thing about submarines is how they work. Here's an, a, a cut open submarine. So if we were to see it from the, like, the side, um, in the middle is where we would be standing and walking around and hanging out and um, doing all of our experiments and things like that. But then do you notice there's a second ring around it? That's called the ballast. The ballast is where it, it's either filled with air or it's filled with water. When it's filled with air, it helps the submarine to float up to the surface. When it's filled with water, that helps it to sink down below to the deep. So an example would be if you're swimming. If you swim and you go and you take a deep, 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 deep breath and you fill your lungs with air, like if we were to fill the ballast with air, you're gonna float a little bit easier. And then as you slowly let the air out of your lungs, you kind of sink a bit in the water, right? And you slowly go down and down and down. Well, that would be like filling the ballast with water. It helps the submarine to sink deeper into the bottom of the ocean. It's so cool how we can do this and we can actually experiment with our own bodies as to what it would be like. So when we get down there, we get to explore. There's a light on the front of a submarine um, that allows you to see what's out there because it's pretty dark down there. Um, the sun has a harder time to reach through all the depths of the ocean. Um, and we can see the ocean floor and we might see new creatures. We might see um, things that we had never even imagined. There might be hot water springs that come up from the bottom. There could be even cracks in the earth's surface where some lava throw flows through. So many things and it's a whole nother world down there that we can explore. So I thought, what if for our project today, we go ahead and we draw up our submarine and we're gonna put a light that shines and let's see what we might see. Maybe it'll be realistic, maybe it'll be imaginary. That's up to you. So let's see, let's go ahead and get some uh, white paper, a piece of black paper, um, crayons and markers, definitely a white crayon today. You need one of those. Um, scissors and a little bit of glue. A glue stick is probably the best. And I think that's it. I'll get my table ready and I will see you in two snaps of a finger clip. Do you know the one submarine that can't go underwater? It's a submarine sandwich. Mm-mm, good. Meow. All right, here we go, friends. 
Um, so this is our project. We're gonna draw a submarine together. Then we're gonna cut out this sheet of paper um, to make it look like our spotlight coming from our submarine deep in the bottom of the ocean. And we'll figure out what we're gonna see when we're down there. Um, again, like I said before, it can be realistic or you can be something total imaginary, or it might be something we just haven't discovered yet. So that's gonna be up to you. Let's start with our white paper. I've got my white and my black, so I'm gonna move the black out of the way. And we're gonna draw our submarine together. We're gonna draw it on the top half of the paper. It'll be up here. That way we can use the rest of the paper to do that light beam. So that way we're not wasting paper and we can save a little scraps and, uh, and the earth here a bit. So, ready? I got my marker. You can draw with a pencil. Marker is fine, but remember, once it's on the paper, you can't erase it. So, we're gonna start with a round ovalish shape. Remember, the top half of the paper, and uh, maybe like the, the half of the um, paper if you're in this direction. You got that? Okay. We'll put a little bit of a top area, which is a line up. If you turned it, it's kind of like a big C or a funky upside down smushed U. We'll add in a periscope. Periscope helps to see. So if the submarine was below the water, the periscope can go above the ocean surface. Um, and you can see um, while you're inside your uh, vessel. Now we'll put some stuff so it looks like it's made of that steel. Remember that really hard material so it doesn't get smushed. And um, we'll make it look like it's all kind of like uh, nailed and screwed together. So we'll put a couple straight lines over here and over here. And maybe we'll kind of jazz it up. We'll put some other little lines on it. Like these are just little pieces of steel plates that have been joined together. Like these two joined together to the middle one. And if we're in our submarine, I'm sure we're gonna wanna be able to see what's going on outside. So we're gonna need some windows. So how about we put two or three circles, however many you can fit in between. I'm gonna do a big one, a smaller one, and then a big one. Okay. And you can make it so there's like a little rim around the circle. And you can leave your circles open or you could fill them in black. Um, completely up to you. You could put a little person's face smiling through. Maybe that's you, maybe that's me. And we can color them in after. And remember we have that light beam that's gonna be shining. So let's put a little spot where the light would come out of, a little half circle. And remember too, I know I say this a lot, this is your art project. So if you wanna do a totally different design or if you might be a submarine expert, I am definitely not an expert, but if you are, jazz it up the way you want. I'm completely fine with that. We're gonna just do a basic one here, but if you've got details you wanna add, uh, go for it. I'm putting a little line going this direction. I'm gonna put some little dots that are like bolts or screws that are holding this whole contraption together. Okay. And that's about our, all we need to do for the submarine. It's pretty simple. What we're gonna also do while we're on this paper is we are gonna draw the light beam and we're gonna make it extra big. We're gonna make it extra big because when we go to glue it onto our black paper, we're gonna cut the extra off, but I'd rather us have more than we need than not enough because you always can trim it, you can't really add. So let's go ahead and turn our paper and we're gonna draw two diagonal lines. I'm gonna have one go this way and then one go this way and see how it kind of went off the page. I bet we might even end up trimming this when we finally cut. So as long as you have it going from the top to the bottom, a nice long light beam, we can always adjust it afterward. OK, 
okay? Let's now, before we cut, let's go ahead and color in our summary. Um, you can do it any way you want. It could be yellow, green, blue, purple. There is a song called The Yellow Submarine, if you might know it. That's a fun song. So you could actually make a yellow one. You can make it completely um, random and make it uh, rainbow colored or camouflaged or polka dotted. Um, this is your submarine. So whatever you feel is completely and absolutely the best choice there is. I'm gonna do some blue for some um, emphasis on some important areas. And maybe I'll put some here too. Then I think what I'll do is get a different color, but I'm gonna do this other color in crayon just to spice it up a bit. Oh, this one's blue too. I thought it was purple. Oops, oh well. Kind of like the two blues, that looks good. So go ahead now and while I'm coloring, you color in too. Know that if you color outside the lines a bit, oops, Miss L did, Miss Kate did that. Um, you're gonna trim it off anyway because we're gonna cut this out. So it will be okay. And again, any design you can think of. Maybe you wanna have a lightning bolt on the side of your submarine because um, yours is like the fastest submarine known to man. Um, maybe it's gonna be a submarine that your pet designed. Hmm, I'll have to ask Spencer what kind of submarine he would want. All right, and I'll color in my little faces so that way they aren't just white. Okay. If you're still coloring, you can pause. That's completely fine um, to finish coloring uh, and get caught up. And we'll be right here waiting for you for when you're ready. If you're done, we're gonna now cut it out. You know Miss Kate is big on safe, scissor safety. So when you're cutting, don't look at me. Don't look at the screen. Keep your eyes down. If you can see my eyeballies right now, they are looking directly at my submarine to make sure I don't snip off one of my fingers. So I want you to do the same. It's very carefully cut out your submarine. If it's safer to pause the video, do that. You know you best. And we're gonna just very carefully trim around the outside. When you're done, move your submarine to the side. Scrap paper you can put up here. Maybe you'll use it for something later. And we're also gonna cut out the big light beam that we have. That's a really easy cut since it's just straight lines. Okay, that's gonna go with my submarine. And the scraps are gonna go over here with my scissors because I'm done. Okay, now grab that beautiful black sheet of paper and let's stop placing these on here. So the summary can go anywhere up at the top. Just know that if you put the light beam on the light source on this side, probably don't wanna put it over here cause your light will come off the paper completely. Um, so you're gonna place it kind of where you think it looks good. And then I kind of like that. And you see how I made it really big, right? It goes off. I'll show you how we're gonna trim it and make it fit better. So when you find where you like it, grab your glue. I recommend glue stick on this one so it doesn't get so messy, but if you don't have one, that's fine. A regular uh, liquid glue works perfectly as well. So we'll put this down. Oh, that's good right there. And again, this can come up off the edge even, even if you want your little periscope to pop out above the black paper. And we'll put some on the back of this. You don't need to do it all down here because remember, we're gonna probably cut most of that off. So mainly just in the area towards the top. And I'm gonna stick mine a little bit under the submarine so that way it looks like it's coming right from it. All right. Make sure you close up your glue stick. I really don't like when mine dry out. 
And let's trim this. Here's a really simple way. Flip it over. All of that is extra and can be used for another project. So we're just gonna take the scissors and do a little snip. And then we'll go this way and do another little snip. And voila, we have our masterpiece in progress. So now comes the fun part. We get to decide what we're gonna find down there. Highly, highly, highly recommend using white for the black area. Anything you might think you'd see swimming around. Maybe you're gonna see some octopi. That's multiple octopuses. Maybe you're gonna see a squid. Maybe you're gonna see a gigantic shark swimming by. Anything you can imagine. I'm putting some weird seagrass that might be down here. You can also put stuff you might have never seen, but maybe heard of. You could put something that doesn't exist in real life. Maybe you're gonna come across a narwhal. Maybe you're gonna see some new creature that was not yet discovered. So with your white, go ahead and do whatever would be in this area that the light isn't shining, okay? You're gonna do that part first because this is still a little bit wet. And if we went and did anything on here, it might rip our paper. So if we take our time and we do some of this area in the background, um, we have less chance of ripping our paper. And you can color some of it in with your white. It makes it stand out a bit more. And then what are you gonna see? What is the magic image or picture thing you're gonna happen upon while you're deep sea diving in the submarine? I think I am gonna do, hmm. Well, on this one, I did a, a sunken ship and I did over here is like an old um, uh, column that might've been from a building or something from long ago. There's a little treasure chest down there. So anything you can think of, that was realistic. I think this time I might do something imaginary. I'm thinking I might see some weird kind of robot creature that's like, has part robot characteristics, but then it's also gonna have fish characteristics too. So there's the robot head and body, but it's also got fish um, flippers and maybe I'll give it like a fish tail down here. Obviously, we, I doubt we would see this down in the bottom of the ocean, but it's art and you can have a blast with art and you can do what comes to your imagination. So I'm gonna give you the rest of the time it takes you to finish. Um, I'm gonna flip this and give you a nice send off and just enjoy. Okay, friends, I had a great time traveling deep down into the depths of the ocean with you and learning about submarines. If you um, do the experiment I did or you happen to have any other cool underwater experiments, I'd love to hear about it. That would be really fun. Um, and share your artwork with me. Let me know what you discovered down deep in the bottom of the sea. I can't wait to find out um, what you discovered. Uh, I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day. I can't wait until our next time together. Um, if you get a chance, get outside, get some fresh air. Um, be kind, and I will catch you guys on the flip side. Bye.